while that fly, that ultimate bass worm was just wriggling, moving, sinking. And uh, we're gonna do that, what do you think? Oh, it's yeah. Pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet, there he goes. Awesome, so yeah, that's that ultimate bass worm on the sinking line. Hey, it's Joe at Red's Fly Shop here. Hey, I'm being guided by my older son today and fishing with my younger son, so fishing with the boys. Uh, the Rich's Ultimate Bass Worm has become one of our favorite flies. Uh, and, you know, it might not look like much, it might look like just a piece of yarn, but when you get one of these, you'll see that, that all that chenille is braided in different densities, and it is crazy what that thing does in the water. It, it swims all over the place and is erratic. And my sons and I do a lot of largemouth fishing. We've absolutely grown to love this fly because it sinks nice and slow. We can fish it and very patiently and very methodically over a lot of these submerged weeds without snagging up. So um, sometimes, let's take a look at these reeds in here. Sometimes I'll fish it on a floating line and we'll just put it right in there against the reeds. And a lot of times those bass, we want to be really good casters because we expect to, for the bass to see that fly hit the water. And uh, so sometimes they'll eat it right off the bat, right when it hits. But more often than not, they're going to eat it when it's out here when it's out here and uh, I'm gonna be very patient, but I'm gonna give it a big strip. And you'll notice my rod tip is right down on the water. So yeah, I'm really connected, really, really still, very patient. Large mouth fishing is meticulous. Okay, you can't be sloppy. So we give it a big strip and we wait. We give it a big strip and we wait. And a lot of times those fish are gonna take that fly after it darts out and goes some crazy direction because it just sits there and moves even though it's not being stripped, it has great action. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out here. Let's go ahead and lay out a nice clean cast and we're gonna let that fly sink. And I'm fishing it on an intermediate sink tip. So I've got 10 feet of sinking intermediate line and this is like our favorite setup now. So I'm gonna give it a big strip and I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give it a big strip and I'm gonna wait. And it's a pretty fast strip, okay? And the faster you strip, the more it's going to dart and glide. And I'm going to strip, I'm going to strip, wait, strip, wait. And now that I'm out here on the ledge, I'll let it sink a little bit longer. And I can slow down a little bit just to keep it a little bit deeper. Just like that. And when I do get strikes here, when a bass picks that up, I'm going to go ahead and strip set it. I'm not going to lift my rod tip until I have that bass on. Because a lot of times I'm going to bump into weeds and bump into things. And I may not always be sure whether it's a fish or not. So when I bump into something suspicious here, so let's just say I'm, I'm tightening up on it and I'm going to give it a strip and I'm going to wait. I'm going to give it a strip. And if something feels out of place, I'm just going to check it just like that right there. And if it's a bass, then I've got him on just like that. But that bass worm has been, uh, has become like our go-to. We can fish it very slowly like we are right now. And that fly can just sit there and levitate and coax them in, even though we're not actively moving it all the time. Uh, another tip just for largemouth in general. And again, this fly is unweighted, so it sinks very slowly and it keeps me off the bottom. Whereas my weighted flies right now, I would either have to strip them way too fast to ever get strikes or I just wind up in the weeds the whole time. But uh, another really good tip is I'm going to cast in here and I'm going to count. And I'm going to say one big bass, two big bass, three big bass, just to make sure that I'm being patient and letting that fly sink. And I might do that between strips, one big bass, two big bass, three big bass. And a lot of times we'll find a cadence that those bass really, really like. So that way, when I do get strikes, I know what I was doing. I know about the rate of retrieve, so I can kind of keep track of some of that information. But it's an absolutely killer fly. There's a link to purchase it uh, in the video description down below. But I absolutely implore you to check out the, the Ultimate Bass Worm. Get the action that this thing does here on video. There's just no way to fully capture how lively this thing swims. I mean, you'd swear the thing, even though I'm twitching it, I still, it like catches my eye. I look out there and I'm like... Thank <laughs> you.